Hi, Alec. Uh, just comment on the run game. Uh, Coach was pointing out you were getting like five, six yards a, a, a run. That's consistent, but are you looking for the chunk play out of the run game too? Yeah, you know, um, I think we did a lot of good things last week against Colgate in the run. I think as an offensive line, we really came off the ball and, and did our thing and were really physical. Same with the tight ends. And I thought the running backs ran really hard. And, yeah, we averaged – uh, five, six yards of carry. But yeah, of course, we're looking for the chunk play. And I was going to say, there's always a lot of things that you can get better every week. You know, you're not going to be perfect every week. And we saw a lot of things, a lot of things, a little thing here in a blocking or a little thing here with the run read or, or a little thing here with the tight end that, that if we do those things, it's a 60 yard touchdown run, you know? So there's always things to get better at. And we were really happy with what we did up front, but we're also kind of like, okay, we can do this and we're going to be so much better. So we're super excited to, uh, to get out there and keep doing everything and, and, and run the ball like we have been and, and even better. Let's go next to Dan. Alec, um, working against the defensive line in practice and during the first weeks here, I remember when Coach said your guys were going good on good. Could you just talk about what it's like going against those guys and then in the games, actually, you know, in week one, when you see them make a play, or you see them make a tackle, um, you know, how do you kind of watch that? And if you can correlate it to what's something you might have seen out of them in practice? Yeah, you know, so always right after individual period, the first thing we do is good on good. Tuesday's runs, Wednesday's pass, good on good. And, and you know, it's good for us and it's good for them because you're really feeling the speed that we play at and we're feeling the speed they play at. And then also we're competing. You know, you guys, you still got to compete. You can't get in a lull of the season, just scout team, scout team, scout team. You got to keep competing against each other and feel the speed and physicality of everything. And it's awesome. So when I go out and I and I see them go make a play, it's awesome. But let me tell you, even the scout guys, when we're in, when we're in that scout period, those guys are, are killing it. You know, I got Ryan Beatro playing zero nose on me every day, another Massachusetts guy, and, and he's he's beating my butt, you know. So it's good. I tell him, go as hard as you can, beat me every play, you know, because – Every week I'm going against a good guy. You know, this week I'm going against a guy with a really strong bull rush, really strong in the run game. So I'm like, Beatro, go go super hard. And, you know, they're they're making plays on us in scouts and they're going hard and they're making us better too. So not only is it good on good making us better, but those scout guys are making us better and they're, and they're working every day. Let's go next to Kevin Stone. Hey, Alec, how you doing, man? I'm good. How are you? Good, good. So I know you've talked about this before, but um, obviously it's a big weekend for you personally. Uh, and for Massachusetts football in general, I'm just curious, have you talked to anybody on UMass that, that you might know if you tripped them back and forth a little bit, um, you know, any trash talk going on? Yeah, no, uh, no trash talk from me, you know, uh, as you can, as you can imagine, no trash talk from me, but yeah, no, I know a couple guys on UMass, um, Zach Magnus, their starting linebacker. I went to high school with him. I, I played with him and he's, he's a very athletic kid, good football player. Uh, I know some other guys that I played against in high school there, so it's awesome. It's going to be good to see them and, and reconnect with them because I haven't seen them in so long. But uh, trash talking, no, no, I'm worried about I'm worried about watching the film and, and letting the play do the talking, you know. But uh, I'm super excited to to go out there. You know, I got the whole crew out there. What people think is Western Mass, but Central Mass. We're going out to Western Mass to uh, play UMass, and I'm excited for everyone to come and to to play some of my old high school teammates. So it'll be a lot of fun. Go next to Emma Healy. So, Coach Heffley talked about how you guys are going to be wearing your uh, the red bandana uniforms in honor of the 20th anniversary of the terrorist attacks on 9 11. Um, can you just talk about what that means to you to be able to wear those uniforms um, on this anniversary? Yeah, you know, it, it, it means a lot about uh, one for the nation and two for our school. You know, we always have the red bandana game and it's always super special Friday night. You know, all the students come out and it's an electric atmosphere and, and we play we play four wells, you know, and, and we have our red bandana workouts in the winter and in the summer to to uh, honor him and, and honor everybody on 9-11. So it, it means a lot. It means a lot to us, you know, to, to represent something so big and, and so meaningful uh, for the school and for the nation too, to, to, to do something like that. It, it means a lot. And we take it very personal and just wearing those red bandana uniforms, you kind of feel something special, you know? So, so it, it means a lot. And I know we're super excited and super honored to, to have that opportunity. Go next to Trevor. Uh, so how many people from the Lindstrom squad in central mass are making the trip to Western mass this weekend? Yeah. Uh, how many? Oh man. Well, my whole family. So that's, that's like a clan right there themselves. So I got other than other than my brother, Christopher, you know, obviously he's down in Atlanta, but I got my brother, Ryan, my parents, my three younger sisters, 
my aunts, my uncles, my, my grandma, my Mimi, then I got uh, people from, from my hometown going. So, I mean, it's going to be a village, you know, uh, I'm surprised they, they don't even have their own section right now for the Lindstrom clan, but, um, but I'm super excited to see everyone. There'll be a lot of people. All right, let's go back to Dan and then we'll have time for one more. First, I just got to ask if we figured out where the dividing line is, because to me, central mass is still West. Yeah. You know, so you got, you got Massachusetts, you got Eastern mass, you know, the preppy, the preppy guys, Eastern Mass, right? All the private school preppy, uh, not tough guys. Then you got Central Mass, which is in the middle, like Worcester and, and um, the 508 area code, Worcester, Dudley. We're directly south of Worcester and, and kind of that whole area. And then kind of a little bit west, when you're driving down the Mass Pike, you see it starts going to, you'll see a town here or there to just mountains and trees. And, and that's Western Mass. Western Mass is probably a little bit west of Worcester, but, uh, but yeah, no, I don't claim Western Mass. I'm Central. <laughs> Um, and just a second, my question is going to be, so Central West was obviously the, the high school uh, playoff and, and culture. Um, how much does that differ? And, and what was that like, uh, first of all, even though for a preppy Eastern Mass guy over here to, to, to immerse myself in Central West? Yeah. So uh, in, in high school, you know, you got the you got the gritty, tough guys playing in Central Mass football, running the ball. You know, I ran a double wing and then the champion of that would go play Western Mass. You know, those guys are or who knows if they even play football, you know, and then we'd go play the, the preppy Eastern mass guys. Like I bust uh, Ozzy and, uh, and drew all the time. They're going to like nobles and BC high and all these fancy places, you know, but uh, so it's, it's good. It's fun. It's a fun little rivalry. It's good. 